Did you hear that? Uh, <laughs> what is it? It's the warbler. Oh. I think it was a warbler. Sounded like it. I like the skylarks. Beautiful. Are you ready? I am. Well. I just was thinking about <laughs> me and you and how we met on the beach. Yeah. Can you remember? I can. What I can. happened? Well, I was walking on the beach with my friend David and I saw this couple. Were you walking towards us or walking away? I can't oh, remember, I, I had my head saw, down. Saw, <laughs> exactly. I saw this couple and I saw this girl, Becky, <laughs> with her head down on the beach, just like myself, because that's what I do. And I went up to you and I said, hi. And you looked up at me and went, hi. <laughs> I said, what are you looking for? And you said you were looking for a carnelian. Carnelian? Oh, carnelian, yeah. So well, that was it, wasn't it? We kind of just clicked. We hit Hello. it off. Straight away. Straight away. It was like a woman of my soul had come Hello. towards me. So I wanted to interview you, Jules, on my website. My dog. <laughs> With in Tilly in the background. Sure. Tilly, come up, come here, come here. Yeah. She's here. <laughs> she's you too. Can't we can't her. see it, but she's there. <laughs> and <laughs> and <laughs> let's throw her a stone. She likes chasing stones. <laughs> I'm a bit warm, actually. So, so, Jules. Yes, darling. Tell my lovely friends about what you do because you've got a really amazing story. And I wow. really love what you're doing. Ah, so nice. <laughs> I, I'm a gardener. Um, I design gardens, but I don't design really. I just revamp gardens. So I will go into someone's garden and just help them redesign their borders, you know, stuff like that. But I will sometimes go in and start from scratch. So it could be a brand new build, just a lawn and I'll put borders in and we work out a design, a plan, what to do with it. Sometimes put the water features in as well. So it, it's, every day is different. But you, I do maintenance as well. So. You seem to do like a lot of historical properties though, yeah, don't I you? Do. And, and big out. houses yeah. and big yeah. gardens. We're not talking about my little garden no, in the suburbs. No. Well, <laughs> you know, I lived in the South for many years. Uh -huh. And um, I started out People might know it, Petersham Nurseries, which is in Ham, Richmond, Surrey. Um, so I started out really just maintaining their gardens for them initially. Um, and after about two and a half years, the head gardener left and they asked me if I wanted to take on that position, which I did. And I did it for about, about another two and a half, so about four and a half years altogether. And I loved it and I learned so much because I had a border that was about 70 metres long. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and That's about, long. Yeah. <laughs> that was massive. That um, is massive. Is that like a football pitch? Yeah, it was just, just went on and on. <laughs> and they designed it, but there were lots of things that needed moving and redesigning and reshifting and juggling. And so I was basically given that role to just sort it all out. Which I did, and I loved it. Did they have like specifications about like native plants or yeah, historical in, plants, anything like sort of traditional or anything? Yeah, it was a fairly traditional border. So it was bordered with with Hidcott lavender. It had mm. big giant crambies in the back. A beautiful yew hedge down both sides. Um, uh, now I can't say this word. Lu is it Luchin's? Luchin's <laughs> chair know. seat at the bottom of the garden. They... Beautiful chair. There's a focal point at the bottom of the garden. Did it have an arch over it? No. What no, like was it? Just, was it? just and literally, the, the house was Queen Anne House. Beautiful. In fact, it was the hunting lodge for Henry VIII. Oh, and wow. Oh. Lodge is, it's Beach from Nurseries now, which yeah. is quite a trendy place to go. And they were lovely to me. Um, Francesco's Italian and his partner Gail is Australian. And, and I really pallied up with Gail. Gail was lovely. So we used to do stuff outside of gardening, you know, we'd yeah. meet up and have a coffee and stuff. And she was lovely, really took care of me. Um, yeah, so that was my really thrown in the deep end, <laughs> learning about gardening and, and stuff. And then I did a job for a customer opposite in the house opposite. And they were redesigning their gardens. And um, Gareth said to me one day, he said, do you think you can handle it, Jules? Is it, it's, it's quite a big job, do you want to have a go? Yeah, why not? 
So we just did it in stages, but it took me about two years to get everything done. I made a few mistakes along the way, as you do. Yeah, um, but you learn that way, it, don't yeah, you? Yeah, that, that, was good, that sort of like a catalyst for my design, really. That kicked off the design bug in me, and I just thought, I don't want to be a maintenance gardener anymore. I want to be a designer. Like really designing. Yeah. Because so you are really creative, I know that. I've seen your paintings as well, which we will talk about later. I went to Chelsea Business Garden in London and did a design course. Okay, so we're back. She's got me. <laughs> and like we've a got little, Tilly. Little... Hello, Tilly's here. Hi, Tilly. How are you? She's here. She's joining in. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at that yeah. tongue. <laughs> Hey Dilly! Mm -hmm. Look at her, she's, she's, she wants to join in. You're actually from Yorkshire, aren't you? I am. <laughs> See, hey, all yo. the best gardeners are from Yorkshire. Yorkshire lass. I don't yeah. mean that. Okay, so the next thing, Jules, is... Yeah. Art. <laughs> art. Art. So Jules now, is good at art. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah, my kind of art. This girl is a fantastic artist I mm. think but like you said to me earlier it's about everybody's individual style and mine mm. is I suppose it's more contemporary isn't it I don't know I it's don't a, know it's, it's like colour. botanical it's botanical flowers it's lots of your, your palettes are gorgeous so I do watercolor and then I sketch leaves botanical things on there daisies whatever it takes my fancy really um, and, and it's a slow process because I do it in different stages. So I do wet on wet and I have to let it dry. Then I have to go back to it. And that I found really hard because I've got no patience. <laughs> you've, you've just done, um, you've just got one printed on a cushion in velvet. Yeah. I can't wait to see that. Yeah, my trees. With feathers. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see how that comes out. And we're talking now about maybe trying to sell it. So if anyone, <laughs> wants, to, if anyone wants to have a look at my artwork. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. I'll add some. We'll add some pictures into lovely. the video as well, yeah. so you can see what she's doing. But we're encouraging her to get on with it and sell it because yeah. it's just really nice. And I want to. You I'd know, like to. I think it's a really good thing to do. And when you're working outside every day, and you've, it's a really physical job, and mm, it's hard and because obviously now I'm working at that plant. So she knows you know, now. I, know. I mean, see, well, I knew before, she's but she's it's just kind of a bit of a break from <laughs> backache, <laughs> yeah, sciatica. <laughs> I've always done Cramp. gardening, but yeah, I had a 10 year break doing something horrible, mm. which needed to be done. Mm. And um, so, but Jules, the other thing is, and you don't like me saying this, but Jules actually pulling a funny face there. Uh, do you beautiful, do one of your beauty can faces? Can I put my glasses on then? I so Jules is actually a model. <laughs> And oh. she's been a professional was. model. Did I say was? No, you said is. Well, you I, are because you've just was. done two jobs. Um, I was. No, 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 not what? No, no, I was a proper model in London. I'm being yes. honest now. Now, come on, tell us a... about your modelling because this is okay. amazing. Right, when I was 17, I went to London. <laughs> well, forced by my mother. Go on, get down to London and become a model. <laughs> so, well, quite literally, she, she threw a load of photos together, put me, entered me into a competition. And the next thing I know, I get a phone call from London, an agency in London. When can you come down? That's kind of cutting it a little bit because it was a bit more involved than that. So I ended up going down to London and I lived there for 22 years and did a lot of traveling, <laughs> a lot of modeling, lots of different things, catalog, advertising, a little bit of editorial, not a massive amount of editorial, um, shows, a few workshops, you know, where you sort of talk to people, young girls about modelling, give them ideas and stuff. So, yeah, it was it was a great life. But I'm doing something kind of different now. Well, your passion, <laughs> you, you've said to me recently that your passion plants. is gardening, gardening. And, yeah. and that connection with nature earth. and yeah. earth and yeah. being outside. And, and I do and get a bit anxious at times and I think my gardening is like a therapy for me. It sort of calms me down because I, I am a bit of a procrastinator sometimes we all are and I think that the gardening just makes me focus on what I'm doing and I actually feel when I finish at the end of the day that I've actually done something achievable and worthwhile and because you when you when you've got anxiety which I I know a lot of people are and it, mm. anxiety and depression is something we all talk about now which is great so anxiety is a problem for me mm. and if I 
if I'm doing something I don't enjoy, it just escalates. Mm. So the gardening is wonderful. And the artwork. Really, and the as art, well. yeah. Artwork um, really helps. And I, I mean, I do, you know, I do artwork all the time as well. And I meditate as well, you know, that I, I practice yeah, and after. And I get I up every morning and meditate I on know the bed. I do. And then I don't feel anxious, and if I don't do it, I feel awful. No, so it's like see, a no-brainer for me. I wish I could meditate. I wish I had it in me to be still. <laughs> I keep saying I'll show you. Still for a second. I mean, I'm really? finding it really hard to be still right now. I know, I'm, I'm like... so animated <laughs> that I can't sit still. And I think that's part of my energy, is the, anx the, the anxiety is that. I'm just always doing something. Always on the move. Well, the meditation stops me feeling anxious, but it gives me more energy. Yeah. But it's a kind of a different energy than yeah, I used I to imagine. have. It's like a peaceful. Mm. Mm. But to do what you've done. I love this girl. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. I've got a lovely old picture of us a few years ago. I'll add into this. Yeah. And I tell you what. Do you know? You know, just to show, just to show people. She's here. She's up on another rock. Mm. She loves rocks. To fight, to, to, um, do you think we could add in a, you know, there's a, a one of my favourite pictures of you and you've got like flowers and it's kind of greenish and you've got, I don't know what you were doing there. Um, oh, and you, gardening pictures. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, that can we use that? Of course you can. That gardening yes. story I did. Can we add it in? Yeah, that was, that was it's a special. such a beautiful photo. Yeah, that was a special, really special moment for me because I, I was, I think I was probably, coming up for 40, no, 39, 40, and I was actually gardening at the time. I'd, I'd made that transition from modeling to... They probably think you're 39, 40 now, darling. <laughs> They'll be shocked. 57. She's 57. <laughs> so I'd made that transition from the modeling to the gardening. So I was really still enjoying the modeling, but I was really focused on my gardening. And I got a phone call from a friend of mine, a photographer friend of mine, who's very famous, so I better not say his name. Yeah, maybe not, we're getting bothered. I yeah. don't want to get in um, bother. <laughs> and he rang me up and he said, Jules, I've got a fantastic job for you. And, it, and I was really shocked because I never get these jobs. So I was like, oh my God. And it was for Italian Vanity Fair and they wanted to do a story on an English model stroke gardener. And they made it quite eccentric, <laughs> an eccentric story. So the, the picture Becky's talking about, I've got green fingers. These rocks on this beach are amazing, aren't they, Jules? Yeah, that look one at is that. Pre what did you say that one? Prehistoric footballers. <laughs> and he's got a bugle or an axe or something in his hand. I don't know what that is. They're fab, aren't they? Yeah. We get some really interesting ones. We found one like dancers. You found one like horseback oh, riders, yeah. didn't you? Yeah, it's amazing. Jules is really good at finding these. Look at that, she's it's found like another one. find me. <laughs> it's like little Beautiful. people. I love them. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, what is it? Um, I don't know. <laughs> what is it? What did you think? It's a lava stone. Yeah, because of the shape of it. I'm not sure what a lava stone is. It's, it's lava flow that's, that's set. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, like that. It it's all be. like it could it's have filled lodgy. some. It could have filled some mud holes. Here's Becky. Oh, look at you. Oh, who made it? My mummy. Your mummy. My mummy. She's very clever, your mummy. She is actually. It's gorgeous. She makes really nice skirts. Mm. Look at that. It's beautiful. And it's got like this, you know, that bit mm. there is mm. different. It's not symmetrical. I don't no, know. No, it's gorgeous. Like whoa, whoa, whoa. Fabulous, darling. Fabulous. Yeah. Let's do a little pan around to the cliffs. <laughs> That's where we're heading to take yeah. a picture of those amazing cliffs. Excuse me. <laughs> Look at those. Incredible. They're my favourite cliffs. Aren't they? Are you ready? Yeah.